I'm about to share with you the best relationship advice on the planet. Seriously, these five power principles will completely transform the connection with your wife or partner. It's a bold claim, I know, but please bear with me. I promise you're gonna wanna hear this. It will change your life. You see, seven years ago, my wife came home, sat down, looked me in the eyes and said, Tony, I don't love you anymore. My marriage ended overnight, and despite thinking I had a great relationship, I was wrong. My heart was broken, and it felt like my world was ending. If you've ever been through a breakup or divorce, you'll know how fucking challenging it is to lose your partner, the self-worth issues, the toll it has on your mental health, your business or career, it affects every single area of your life. As a matter of fact, the quality of your relationships impacts the quality of your life. When you have a great relationship full of intimacy, love, connection, sex, and sparks, you're way more successful in other areas like your health or your wealth. Yet the truth is more and more men are in broken relationships. The divorce rate is almost 50%. And that's just couples who separate. Think about all the people who are constantly getting into arguments. They've lost that intimacy and spark, and they're sitting on opposite ends of the couch, feeling like roommates instead of soulmates. What the hell is going on? Why is this happening? I'm about to answer that for you, but if you can relate to anything I've said, then know that you're not alone, and it may not be your fault. But as a man, it is your responsibility to fix it. When my relationship broke down, I played the victim, blaming her, blaming the world, blaming my business instead of taking ownership for the quality of my relationships. When I met my current wife, Rosie, I made it my mission to find out how to have it all, a thriving relationship where I'm successful in every single area of my life. What I discovered shocked me, and I've shared it with over 500 of our successful Empowered Man clients, and you're about to hear it too. So without further ado, Let's strap in and get into the first power principle. The first power principle is worldviews. We have this unset expectation in intimate relationships that our partner should understand us, that they should know us deeply and intimately. And at the beginning of a relationship, we try to get to know our partner, but then we get busy, we get stressed, we have kids and life gets in the way. This is where more unset expectations come in. Stories like, You've been with me for five years, 10 years. You should know what I want. You should know what I expect to have in the relationship. We want them to be able to read our mind and they want us to do the exact same. This is simply not possible. The harsh reality is that no matter how much you love each other, you have completely different perspectives. You have completely different ways of seeing the world around you. You had different friends growing up. You had different parents. You had a different upbringing, different schools, different locations, different bullies, different experiences, Almost everything in your life was completely different to what you experienced. You had different outcomes, different things that brought you to this moment when you met each other, which means you have a completely unique view of how you see the world. The house being a mess might be messy to you, but to her, it may not be. Dishes in the sink may be a big deal to you, but to her, it may not be. These are just one of many examples. You have different worldviews when it comes to children, when it comes to work, when it comes to expectations of each other. That's perfectly healthy and perfectly normal. The problem though is when these worldviews begin to clash with one another. This typically happens the longer you are in a relationship. When that initial infatuation stage disappears, you start getting triggered and upset at your partner over things that didn't used to upset you. If you've had a long day at work or the kids have pissed you off, these little things start to build up and then you take it out on your partner because they're not making you feel understood, wanted, desired, appreciated, or supported. And your partner does this to you as well. This is because the way you see a situation clashes and instead of communicating this, we get angry at each other and we begin to argue. For an argument to exist, all you need is two different opinions and two people who want to make themselves feel heard. Your partner and you both can see the same thing, but see it in a different way. And the solution here is be able to understand each other's worldviews and to understand each other's differences in perspective. You're both gonna have perspectives on all the areas of your life, on work ethic, on time, on children, on everything. And the solution here is to be able to communicate your perspectives without getting angry at each other or attacking. If your partner feels like their worldview is attacked, even though if they know you're right, they understand everything you're saying is true, they will defend because by definition, when someone feels attacked, they defend. In our relationships, we often stop being caring and empathetic. We're in a hurry, we're busy, we're stressed, and we begin attacking. So by definition, it makes sense for the other person to defend. And if we both start feeling attacked, 
then we both defend. This is why arguments happen. This is why clashes of worldviews occur. So the next time you feel like there is a rift between you, you are clashing on a perspective or in a way that you see something, try and put your perspective aside and step into your partner's shoes. This is difficult to do if they're a housewife or a mother. When you are a father, you have completely different roles, but try and step out of your own shoes. Try and look at things from a different perspective. Literally envision yourself leaving the way that you see things, walking to the other side and looking at it from their point of view. It's not simple to do, but it's one of the most powerful exercises because if you understand your partner, then they will feel understood. One of the most powerful quotes we give our clients is seek first to understand, before you seek to be understood. Seek first to understand before you seek to be understood. Hey, if you don't understand worldviews or it's a new concept to you, then smash that like button. It helps us reach more men and hit subscribe and that little bell icon. It will notify you the next time we release videos just like this one. The second power principle is eruption. I'm not talking about sexual eruption and I'm not talking about volcanoes. I'm talking about letting things build up within you instead of communicating them as they come up in the moment. My wife Rosie and I are still working on this one. The other day I did something that upset her. That happened on a Friday. And then yesterday, which was a Thursday, she let me know about it because it had built up inside of her. Over the course of six days, she was getting angry. She was sad. She felt this range of emotions and she didn't want to bother me with them. So instead she let them build up within her, but it came out in her behavior. It came out in how she wanted to connect with me, how she touched me. It was within her the entire time, but she did not want to share it because it was difficult to share. We do this strange thing in relationships where we expect our partner to know what we're thinking and feeling. No one can read our mind, but for some reason, when we love someone, we expect them to. The reality is if you're thinking or feeling anything negative, especially when it comes to your partner, and if they're thinking or feeling anything negative, especially when it comes to you, the only way to move forward and to grow as a couple is to have open, honest communication without any form of judgment. Emotions are simply energy in motion. And if you don't share your emotions, that energy gets trapped within you. I'm sure you've felt this before when you have that tension and that angst within your body. And that builds up on stories in your head, stories that are often not true, stories where we fabricate what might be going on in our relationship and we just make shit up. The solution here is to share your emotions and to share your thoughts with your partner. And when you notice that they're upset, Ask them how they're feeling, ask them what they're thinking about. If they say they're fine, tell them that you know them. I know you and I know you're not fine. Just share with me what's going on so we can work through it together. The solution here is to not let things build up. Every single time you have a negative thought or feeling, share it with your partner and get them to share with you. And when they share with you, remove any form of judgment because love is the absence of judgment. Eruption, the power principle of eruption can destroy relationships because that's when things build up and that's when you get hurt. The third power principle is vision. At the beginning of a relationship, you have goals and dreams together. You might want to get married. You might want to have kids. You might want to buy your dream home. But as you get busy and go through this game of life, we start to let those goals and those visions slip. What is it that excites you about life? What gets you out of bed every single day? What are you working towards? In this day and age as a man, it's not enough to just make money and provide. That is not a vision. It's not enough to just buy that house with the white picket fence. There has to be more to life than that. And if you don't have a joint vision together, or if you have lost the vision that you created, then by definition, what's the point of anything? What are you working towards? This is why you get into arguments and get angry at each other. This is why you lose connection because you don't have anything that you're actually aiming for. You don't have the North Star in your relationship. It may be difficult to do, but simply making time to sit down together and ask each other what you want from life. What do you want to achieve? Where do you want to travel? What do you want to buy? How do you want to feel? What is the vision for the two of you as a couple, as husband and wife, as partner, as girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever you are, what is the vision for the two of you? What are your dreams, hopes, and desires? What is the North Star, the thing you're working so hard for so that you can have a life full of happiness, abundance, and success? You've got to have a vision. You've got to have that North Star together in your relationship. The fourth power principle is consistent check-ins. When you're driving your car, if one of the warning lights comes on, it gives you some leeway to go get it fixed before something catastrophic happens. Well, we don't do this in our relationships. We stop communicating openly and honestly. We lose a vision together. We don't share each other's worldviews or understand each other's perspectives. 
And then by definition, we don't check in on any of those things. So when was the last time you checked in with your partner about how they're feeling and how your relationship's going? Are you happy in our relationship? Do you feel loved? Do you feel appreciated? Do you feel supported? Do you feel understood? We don't check in because just like that warning sign, we don't want to know. Because when we take the car in for a repair, it costs money, it costs time, it's not very fun. What's well, the exact same in our relationships? We sweep things under the rug, we bury our head in the sand because it's difficult to check in with our partner. It's difficult to hear what's not working in our relationship, but it's also difficult to get divorced, for our kids to be raised in a broken home, and to be unhappy without sex, intimacy, or connection. The fourth power principle is consistent check-ins. Check in with your partner. Do this consistently. Do it weekly. Do it daily. Find out how they are feeling within that relationship. Check in on your vision. Check in on your perspectives and worldviews. Check in on your communication and be honest with each other consistent. The final power principle is upgrading. Every single year there's a new version of this phone. Every single year there's a new model of the car that you drive. But as modern day men, as women, as human beings, we tend to not upgrade ourselves. Sure, you might be watching this YouTube video and that's a lot better than I did when my partner left me. But when do we invest time, money and energy into building the character traits and the skill sets to be the best man that we can be. The character traits are the pieces of you that make you a great man. Honesty, integrity, there are many others and I'll share them with you in a video down below on the five alpha traits every single man must have. Skill sets, however, are things like learning how to communicate better, learning how to make your partner feel loved, learning how to meet their love languages. Those are skill sets, those are things you can learn how to do. The first piece is identity, which is your character traits. The second piece is skill sets, which are things that you do. When do we upgrade ourselves? One of the most powerful principles, hence the name power principle, is upgrading the man in the mirror, upgrading into the best version of yourself. Because every year there are other men who are doing that. They are getting healthier bodies, they look better, they perform better, they make more money. The world is moving on. And if you don't move with the world, your partner, your wife, the person you love is gonna see you falling behind. And it might not happen today or tomorrow, but at some point they're gonna realize there's something better out there for them. That can't happen if you become the best version of yourself. And that's why upgrading yourself is one of the most powerful principles you can have in a relationship. Obviously your partner gets to do this too. It doesn't work if you're the only one upgrading yourself. For years in my relationship with Rosie, I was investing in masterminds, courses, content, coaches, so that I could be better in business, in health, in wealth, and in relationships. And recently, my wife Rosie actually came on the journey with me. She invested in a coach who actually coaches me as well, and she's learning about herself, her perspectives, her worldviews. She's communicating better. She's more open and honest. She's creating her own vision, but it began with me leading that charge because as a man, my job is to lead so that I can inspire her to upgrade herself. If you struggle to upgrade yourself or do any of the things I talked about in this video, we actually coach men on a daily basis. We have a program called the Empowered Man Method and we teach you how to have better relationships, be more successful in your health and your wealth and become the best man you can be. So there'll be a video down below you can watch about how to fix your marriage and find work-life balance and at the end of that video, if you want to work with us, you can book a free call to become one of our clients. But regardless, this content and this video will help you a lot. Let's quickly recap the video. The first power principle is to understand each other's worldviews and perspectives and to step into your partner's shoes. The second power principle is eruption. Don't let things build up within you. Speak with open and honest communication. Do it from a place of love, even though it might be painful. The third power principle is vision. Have dreams and goals together. Set a vision for the future and get excited about living the game of life together. The fourth power principle is consistent check-ins. Check in with each other just like you would service your car. Do this weekly at a minimum. Ask each other how you're feeling and how the relationship is going. And the fifth power principle is to upgrade yourself. Invest time, money, and energy into becoming a better man for your partner so that you can inspire them to do the same. All of these power principles work and they will change your life. They are what have made me successful in business and in my relationship because they're all connected. So I hope you got value from this video. If you did, smash that like button. And remember to hit subscribe with the little bell icon so you get notified when new videos come out. There's gonna be a video up here on the five alpha traits every single man must have to be successful. These are the character traits I talked about earlier. So go and give that video a watch and there'll be a video down here on the number one cause of divorce, which is losing the spark. So go give those a watch and I'll see you for the next video.